In this video lesson, we'll be walking through the requirements to complete the Lab 1 Born Identity Underscore. So let's get started. Before you start working on or even open up your Pro Tools session for the first lab here, I strongly, strongly suggest that you go ahead and rename the project folder and the session file inside before you do anything. All right? Simply click on the source project folder that you've downloaded, hit return, last name, lab1, return to lock that in. Open the project folder, click once on the Pro Tools source session, return, last name, lab1, return, and now you're good to go ahead and open the Pro Tools session and start work on lab1. When you open the session, you'll have a video track and an accompanying dialogue track. And if you want to see the video while you're working, from the window menu, video. If you're good enough to get in here and handle the gear, you're good enough to know you don't need this. Born would know. It was staged. Okay. Now I'm just going to drop my cursor towards the end here and show me again. And there's the stabbing scene. So that's the, you know, that's where we're building to. So I'm going to just uh, give you an example of some things you could do. And I'm going to use the virtual instruments that come with Pro Tools. Probably just stick to expand to do some kind of low drone thing to build uh, some suspense. Uh, something to, you know, a crescendo as we get towards the stab, and then some kind of hit to punctuate the stab itself, okay? So we'll be working with virtual instrument tracks, specifically stereo instrument tracks. So new from your tracks menu, stereo, and I'm just going to do three right off the bat, one for my drone, one for my rise, and one for my hit, okay? So make sure you do instrument track. That is really important. Audio track, aux track, master, nothing else will do. It has to be a stereo instrument track, and it must be stereo, okay? All right, let's build those in. There we go. And I'll just name them. I'll you just double-click or yeah, double-click on the name there where it says instrument. We'll call this low drone, and we'll call the next one riser, and we'll call the next one hit, okay? All right. And we'll go in and add more to those uh, 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 names in, in a little bit, okay, in more detail. So let's go ahead, and I'd like to work in the mix window when I'm bringing in instruments. So Command equals toggles between my edit window and my mix window. So just go ahead and bring that out. Go to inserts right here, multi-channel plugin, instrument, and expand, and again, this is what comes stock with Pro Tools native, so it's already installed on your Mac, okay, or your PC. Uh, let's go ahead, and I want to go shopping for drones, so right here is the best way to access your sound library and expand. Click there, go to the pull-down menu, and I'll go to Ambience and Effects, and... One of the things I want to do first, so maybe it's just as well that I did, did this out of order, I'm going to cancel this. If I want to play or I want to tap on my keyboard and hear a sound, I need to record enable the track. I need to record enable the track in order to hear it. Okay. Now I can play on my keyboard and I can hear the sound that I currently have selected and expand. Okay. All right. Again, it's really important that you remember to record and enable the track or you won't hear anything. Okay, let's go back to our menu here. I'm going to go back to Ambience and Effects. And you could get these this low drone sound from a lot of different places. I encourage you to go exploring and sound farming. Okay, Ambience and Effects. And if I just go ahead, now that the track is enabled, if I just go ahead and click the first sound and play, you can hear low... I'll play it up an octave, play it up another octave, doesn't make too much difference with that. There we go. All right. Now if I don't like that one, I don't have to hit done and close and open it again. I'll just select the next sound down. 
That might be a nice riser. Might be a nice riser as well. But just to move things along, I'm going to just go with It's Behind You. And we'll just put that in, okay? So let's go ahead and hit Done. Close our window. I'm just going to temporarily move the video track out of the way so we can see what's being recorded in Pro Tools. Hit Return, because right now I'm at Measure 11, so I want to hit Return to get back to Measure 1. And hit the Record key. Now I can do that a couple of different ways. Just Enable Record, and then hit Spacebar. If I don't like what I did, Command-Z to undo that. On your Mac, if you've got a full Mac keyboard, as opposed to a laptop keyboard. If you've got a full Mac keyboard, if you go to the 12 key keypad area, the 3 key is record. If not, then just record and then spacebar will do it for you. Okay. If you're good enough to get in here and handle the gear, you're good enough to know you don't need this. Born would know. Who was staged? So slam dunk? No, but what if somebody were trying to cover their tracks by blaming Conklin and Born? What if Bourne didn't have anything to do with this? Show me again. All right. Well, you put a full game. Hey. All right, so I'll leave that there. We could, I mean, we could keep working on that to get a lot better, and I would, but I want to move this video ahead for the sake of getting you up and working on your own project. I'm going to, before I go any further, where it says low drone, I'm going to go back here to where it says expand, and I'm going to go and enter the details of what I used. Okay, this is important for this lab, and you will get points for it. So in the comments box, I'm going to, the instrument that I use, expand to, then category was ambience and effects, and it was number two, it's behind you. Okay, so. There we go. So now if so, for some reason I have that plugin ever becomes disconnected from that plug-in slot on that track, I'll know where I got the sound from. I can always come back to it and find it that way. Really great idea to use the comments box, okay? We'll be doing that for all the tracks that we use. Let's bring in a riser. First record, enable the track. Command equal to bring up the mix window. You can either bring in expand again from the menu, instrument, expand, or the easy way, let me go ahead, and if you want to take something out, no insert. I'm just going to click on the previous track, hold down my Option key, and Option drag, and that makes a copy of the plugin. Now I'll open it up on this slot, and let's find some kind of riser. Okay. All right, let's go to uh, our menu again. I'm going to stay with Ambience and Effects, and uh, I'm just going to see what dead end is here. Let's see what that is. Yeah, that might be nice as a riser there, so I'll hit done. So let me see ambience and effects. Number 18, dead end. Make note of that. Okay. So I'm just going to go to previous, copy, next, paste. Okay, and I just saw a mistake here. That should be... There we go, number two. All right. Good. All right, let's get that in. And I don't want to start at the beginning, so I'm just going to drop my playhead here right about halfway through and just kind of feel where it should be coming in. So I'll hit the, this time I'll hit the three key on my keypad. What if Born didn't have anything to do with this? Show me again. All right. What if you put a full <laughs> Okay, so that will get us 
at least, you know, in the ballpark for now. Now let's add a hit, okay? So first I'll do is record enable my track, bring back my mix window, hold down my option key, drag copy, expand to the next slot, open it up. Let's go to our menu and go shopping for hits. And let's see what we've got. Hmm, what do we got here? Hits. Okay. All right. Now, again, the track's already enabled, so we can just click on the first one, tap on our keyboard, and see if that's going to work. Maybe try it an octave down. Play a cup melt, play a couple of keys together here. Okay, fatten it up. So we could kind of go through the hits here and, explore and uh, experiment with them. Let's try drama hit. Maybe. Blast hit. Not bad. Mm, play fast. Okay, how about orchestra for three? Ah, that'll work. Let's try that. Okay. So, oh, I just looked at it. It's still on my clipboard. Hits. Was it number 23? Uh, let's double check to make sure. Ah, there we go. Number there we go. number nine, orchestra hit three. Okay, there it was. All right. So we've got all our data in there. We're ready to go. Let's put in the hit. Okay. And I'll just drop it there. And here we go. Show me again. Alright, so we've got our hits in. And if I want to move those around, let me bring back my bring my video window back up. And let's kind of scoot that up there. And scoot that over there. And I'm gonna change from clips to notes view and I'm gonna write down here bring those notes into view there they go okay and I'm gonna use my MIDI zoom tool to make those notes a little bit fatter oops there we go there we go okay so now I can grab these notes I'm gonna go into slip mode and I can move them around to lock up with right there. Okay, so that is the first stab right there. So if you just want to slide that note around so it locks up with the video, you can see the video move while you are moving the note. Again, I went to the slip mode. I changed from clips to notes view. I used the MIDI zoom tool to make my notes fatter so I could see them. And I used the up, down arrows here to bring the notes into view. All right. So really, that is all there is to it. Those are the basics. I hope you take it further and um, explore more sounds. You can layer your drones. You can have a number of drones going, a number of risers going, a number of hits going. Use as many tracks as you want. All right. So have fun and enjoy the lab. I'll look forward to uh, seeing and hearing what you guys come up with.